Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to a fun video involving battleships. And I forgot to turn uh, the Inspiration Iowa to off right before I started this, which has completely ruined uh, these two things being next to each other. But I'm not going to start the recording over again, because why would I do that? That would be too smart. Instead, I'm going to poke it right here. You go there and you stay there. So, this video comes about because uh, way, way back in the misty uh, mists of the past, uh, someone requested, because I shared um, a, a screenshot of the IO Inspiration like, uh, on the social media, uh, a fight between uh, her and the Star Slug, because by gum, uh, these are two big, beautiful battleships, and it'll be uh, hilarious and cool to see them uh, beat the snot out of each other. So, uh, before we get into that, um, I just want to quickly go over these two. So, the Iowa Inspiration, as you can probably guess by her name, don't you? Okay, how about you go out of play for a hot second? So, the Iowa Inspiration, as you can guess by the name, is inspired uh, by the USS, um, well, by the Iowa class uh, battleship from World War II, courtesy of the United States Navy. And um, inspired by, it is not a replica of, because I still suck tremendously at replicas and it just was not worth the effort at the time. So yeah, she looks pretty good. She's uh, for the end game faction of the custom uh, uh, factions for a hypothetical custom campaign that I've been working on for ages, on and off. Uh, no idea when that's going to be finished and no uh, submissions are not exactly open for that. They're kind of not really open. Believe me, I will let you know uh, when I want uh, things from people. But, uh, so yeah, um, let's go over her in it. And I, for, well, no, before we do that, let's look at the command center and let's read the signs right here. Mind the laser, it is going straight through the steering wheel. And so yeah, it is built by me, but decoration slash uh, AA is by the Bevel. And I would like to thank the Bevel uh, for their contribution to this vessel. Because goodness knows, they made it look pretty and made it look interesting in a way that I would never have bothered with. I did a lot of other stuff. And so yeah, she's a, she's a big girl. So she is 775,000 materials over, over 20,000 blocks, over 61,000 volume, uh, 270 meters long, 29 meters wide, and 41 meters tall. So, yeah, big, uh, big girl, uh, big skewy crams. I'm gonna, actually, let's get the Star Slime to go on a holiday somewhere. And, uh, big, uh, cram cannons. So, um, uh, the two lower turrets are, uh, Doomfrag, or rather, they're Penetrator Doomfrag, so you can zoom in and see that, um, they do a lot of, uh, damage with frag, and they've got a lot of kinetic damage and a fair amount of AP, so they punch into things and explode, and it's lovely. And this one is a frag EMP because um, the only rule for this, uh, the faction that this ship is designed for, is that uh, there's basically no high explosive for flak and anything else is um, a okay. So they're all about the EMP. They're all about the kinetic damage. They're all about the energy weapons. Uh, hence this big uh, double uh, barreled laser back here, which uh, is looking pretty good. And um, yeah, so it's got extra AA guns, which are mostly for decoration. Let's face it. Uh, got some uh, uh, big large decoys that I stuck in the back and it's uh, even got steam props except I had to rip out the steam props because the steam props um, I think the last steam update broke them so uh, I just did something else right here and uh, big empty spaces so uh, the bevel uh, gets an internet cookie uh, for all the compartmentalization because there is a lot of it so why did I do that it's easier to show off you just hit P uh, once, you'll see there's lots of separate compartments in here. Uh, that was their good idea, uh, not mine. I tend to forget that that's a good idea to do anything. And uh, yeah, questionable ammo storage. It's basically doubling as armor on the sides. Hopefully, if this gets a breach, it doesn't actually take out everything else uh, near it. But uh, yeah, it probably would, let's face it. Uh, four layers of metal armor, so very well armored, at least uh, on the waterline. Uh, blank gaps in here, which I should probably fill with something. I don't know what. Uh, but um, yeah, a honking big lamb system, um, just for lambs. I just today stuck missile interceptors on her, uh, just to deal with uh, both crams and missiles. Works a treat, except against the Great White, because the Great White is a... 
on a side note, uh, an absolute bastard in that um, interceptors will prefer to go for the huge missiles and then the crams come in and ruin your life and that makes me sad. So yeah, and uh, uh, somewhat walkable superstructure. This is one of the better superstructures I've ever made. Yes, there's mostly me uh, doing this. So you can walk along the deck and you go here and there's lights and stuff. Uh, the bevel put in the lights, I should mention. And there's a little uh, go through thingy here. I forget what's in here. Lasers probably. And a uh, little observation deck right here. Do not touch this because that is what uh, this thing is uh, doing. Oh, yeah, here's my armor detection mast. Standard issue. Very nice. Uh, relaxation deck up here. We'll get to that in a hot second. Uh, where do we go? Oh yeah, so here is the main laser turret. So yeah, it's a good combination actually. It's a uh, this is something that I'm implementing on the Mark II style slum, by the way, which we won't be seeing today because goodness knows it takes long enough for battleships to kill each other as it is. Also, she's not quite finished yet. I'm not sure if this thing's finished, to be perfectly honest with you. And so, yeah, here we have the relaxation deck. We've got uh, a chair storage section. We've got chairs here. We've got a wee table. We've got boxes probably full of marshmallows. We've got this dude chilling out with a, a cup of something. We've got a Hector. We've got lambs right here, so you better not be on the observation deck uh, in live combat, because why does that have 70 AP? It does not need 70 AP. Okay. Do that. Well, might as well. Might as well. Uh, what else? What else? So we go here. There is a, a smokestack that isn't actually a smokestack. Smoke blocks don't actually work for me right now. Here is more munition mourners. Uh, yeah, there's the spinny thing with mimic detectors on it. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? There's lots of railings, more AA over here, and um, we can actually go for it. Whoopsie daisy. We can go for a trip downstairs. There's not much to see downstairs. We would put a swimming pool in here, but it would spill most likely. And of course, we're on the high seas. We don't want to get wet. So that's. Uh, I think that's basically everything. Uh, regard. Oh yeah, there's also a crap ton of large missiles over here. EMP and frag. Uh, two shark popper torpedo turrets, which I've just stuck down here. Uh, lots of props to keep this thing steady. Probably more than is needed, but um, uh, that's how we do. So let's go here. And where is my baby? So if you don't know about the style slung, um, she is um, not made for a custom faction. She is, she is one of the very few large vessels I've built that I'm actually happy with. And uh, she's uh, starting to get a bit long in the tooth. I've gotten better as a builder since I first made her a long time ago. And the main uh, thing I'm uh, sad about, well not sad about, main thing I regret is how tiny the superstructure is. This is not a good one because it's, um, it doesn't spread out all the bits on it. And it's just, uh, it's not good, like, a, con uh, a concentrated volley of fire on the superstructure. And she gets blinded and she loses all the lambs known stuff like that. Uh, but she's got... Uh, also the crams um, had, weren't exactly updated properly uh, after the cram overhaul. So those aren't as good as they could be. Uh, got this um, APS on the back here, which is decent. I forget what's in here. I think this is just an, an AA gun. Uh, yep, so it's just it's a squash flak frag. It does a decent job. And uh, it's got various AA here, there and everywhere. It's got, uh, also got, um, uh, it's got uh, missile decoys that are actually too near the tail. They tend to get destroyed. No azipods whatsoever, which uh, the uh, Iowa Inspiration does have. Uh, because, and this, because the Star Slung is so dense, does not have decent compartmentalization, she needs a lot of props to stay aloft. That's another thing I regret. I have um, learned better at uh, using compartments and allied to float. She's got huge uh, penetrator torpedoes here, though, and that's pretty sweet. Um, probably not as good as um, they used to be when uh, uh, just before the armor overhaul happened, but um, uh, they still do all right. Rudders on the front, and uh, yeah, some uh, anti-aircraft missiles uh, just here, EMP and explosive, and then four big missiles here, which embarrassingly tend to do a lot of firepower because the cramps keep missing. And I should uh, also draw your attention to. Uh, the icon of the Star Slung. And by the way, Star Slung is um, uh, Afrikaans, which is basically African Dutch for uh, Steel Snake. 
And apparently that is a sex joke, or potentially can be. And I actually didn't think of that when I named this big girl, so that's embarrassing for me. And uh, what else, what else? There's uh, the older style shark popper, which is completely unarmored, which is pretty dumb. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, starting to show her age, she's still pretty decent. Uh, but now, uh, let's have uh, you and her fight. And hopefully this doesn't crash uh, my spanking new PC, uh, because when these two fight, it's, um, it's a big mess, uh, simply because they're big. Very big. Let's see. Have you spawned in at the correct height? Uh, you have not. That's annoying. And I don't care for that. I forgot to I forgot to point out how big the uh, the star slung is. I think she's also roughly twenty thousand blocks, and now that's too high. Damn it! How about now? This is awkward. That'll do. All right. So now we're gonna start head to head. Also, the Inspiration Iowa has uh, ACP controlled broadside, so it'll switch between broadsiding left and broad broadsiding right, broadsiding, uh, depending on the angle, uh, the, depending on the enemy's bearing, which is pretty darn cool. And um, yeah, I should actually start sh sorting my ships uh, better here because there, there's a lot of them. And uh, let's go over here. Let's spawn you on, on the Onyx Watch and make sure that you also are spawning in at the correct height. We're spawning in. Okay, so now uh, these two heavyweights, away you go. And Star Slung fires. And Star Slung does not have missile interceptors, I should mention. So yeah, with uh, the decoys are going, and uh, I had to guess. Yeah, I think the Iowa Inspiration is gonna uh, be taking this one. Maybe. You never know. Let's see. Uh, what do those lambs do? Uh, absolutely nothing. Let's go over here and see what these do. They're probably not gonna be stopped. They have been stopped. Oh yeah, the major one of the another major weakness for the Star Slung is that she doesn't have uh, laser defense. Which is a bit of an issue. So let's go over here. Lambs is managing to stop a lot of those shells. This could be a very long fight, which is why there's only going to be one round. Single round elimination. Let's see what happens. And uh, let's see what's going to happen over here. Oh, that's good hits. Oh boy. Oh, that looked painful. Oh, well, that's 94%. 94%. Yep, the lambs is gone. Straight through the armor. Lots of things going to happen here. What's happening over here? Uh, Star songs. Things have been intercepted. Also, wait a minute. Yeah, the Star Slung is short. Uh, one APS turret as well. I don't know what to do about this thing. This thing always gets popped way too easily, and I don't know how to fix it. So yeah, looks like the Iowa Inspiration has got this one in the bag, because uh, the Star Slime has just lost that main APS turret, which is an issue. And the Iowa Inspiration has a lot of uh, missile interceptors, and that's uh, basically nullifying the cramps and the missiles uh, completely. And still has that laser. Uh, the uh, Iowa Inspiration has no repair bots, but um, the Star Slime's repair bots are not going to be able to do anything. And uh, I don't think the Star Slung torpedoes are going to be able to do anything either. So yeah, looks like uh, the Iowa's got this one in the bag. Yeah, Star Slung's in a bad way. And it's, um, I should be proud of this because, uh, frankly, it's uh, always good to know uh, that your designs have improved. And ye gods, this has uh, gotten a lot better. Uh, that was the ammo compartment, by the way. 87%, uh, yep, there it goes. That's one of them, it just went up. Uh, that uh, pen depth uh, doom frag uh, over on the Iowa is no joke. Absolutely no joke whatsoever. Let's have a look here. They're still going quite well. I can probably put this all the way back up here. Let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. So, uh, I think the Star Slung is uh, all over by the screaming. Let's see, 
What's happening over here? Uh, more stuff. Yo, the Star Slung's barely firing back right now. Yeah, and see, that's a major issue with having a, a tiny, piddly superstructure, is that if a big EMP missile hits right there, well, there goes all the detection on this mast, and there goes the lamp's nose, and it's just, uh, it's just all around bad. So yeah, this video is a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought this, honestly, I did think the Star Slime would put up a better fight, but, uh, but yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't guess not. Oh, I guess not. I guess then we'll, we'll have to see the Star Slime Mark II, which is, I should emphasize, is not finished yet. So, um, if the Iowa wins that one, it'll be, uh, it won't fully count. Ouch. You know what, it's, it's an interesting thing, testing your, uh, different designs against each other, because, um... It uh, doesn't feel as terrible as someone else's uh, <laughs> designs ruining your life. Well, at least it's still floating. Yeah, the the whole the Star Sun's whole design is honestly is from a bygone age where a lot of mechanics work differently. So um, she's aged decently, all things considered, but uh, but on the whole, yeah, this uh, this result is not too surprising. Not surprising at all. And, uh, yeah, stuck. Let's see what damage the Iowa actually took here. So, uh, barely anything by the looks of it. Let's see what. Uh, mo most of the damage, I think, um, uh, came from the APS. So, yeah, there's a, there's a hitch right there. Something hurt it. Yeah, it's mostly just scratched paint. Mostly just scratched paint. Yep, so she's, uh, she's weathered this extremely well. And that is why missile interceptors are one of the best things. And especially when you combine that with a LAMS, uh, just like both of those things just stack together very well and they just do terrible things uh, to infantry cram cans. And that was a vicious pen depth that I think got right in here. So at this rate, I think the Star Slime will sink. Because, uh, yep, looks like what's happening here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, dear, that's a major issue. I think um, another reason to retire the Star Slung is that uh, when uh, the ammo compartment goes up, uh, the propellers get taken with it, and that's a bit of an issue. Wow, that just took the thing right out. Uh, I don't know what, what was said there, but okay. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh, this is carnage. Athletic panels, though, they help a lot when it comes to durability. How far away are you? You're within 1500 meters. Oh boy, it's been peeled open like a... like a banana. Oh wow, that bounced. wonder if, um... Let's go back over here. Let's see here. If, are any of these turrets actually damaged? Nope, doesn't look like it. Does not look like it at all. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, jeez, at this point the Star Slung is going to get ripped in half. Oh boy, what a way to go. Poor girl. She is listing badly. At least her guns are firing in defiance to the very lot. Well, wow, the, those, that's both turrets decapitated at the same time. Oh yeah, that's another thing that uh, was a huge mistake when I was building the Star Slung, is that the lower hull is just one meter thick. Um, Huge mistake that, uh, the bigger your craft gets, um, uh, you've got to keep the armor proportional all around. And yeah, there goes uh, the last ammo compartment, and yes, she's too damaged. That's another reason to spread out your ammo compartments, ladies and gentlemen. Because otherwise, um, that happens. And uh, just the whole thing disintegrates, and let's just, uh... Everyone, F in chat for the Star Slung. 
She's gonna get retired any day now. I don't know how that uh, tune actually goes now I think about it. That's embarrassing. So yeah, that's, um, well, that was over um, a lot quicker than I thought. So, well, we're gonna have to test um, the Iowa Inspiration against the Star Slang Mark II, which I don't remember what I've done with it. Well, we'll have to... We'll have to have a little wee overview of the Star Slime Mark II. A little preview, so to speak. And so here, where is it, where is it, where is it, Proton Star Slime Mark II. Which is already way more expensive uh, than the, uh, than the Iowa uh, Inspiration. And definitely more expensive than the original Star Slime. Uh, she's a big girl. She is, um, over 300 meters long. She's fast. And, um, got medium-sized interceptor. She's got three laser turrets on her. And, um, really damn big, um, uh, cram shells. She does not have a functioning lambs yet. Uh, she does have functioning uh, anti-torpedo things, and she does have torpedoes of her own, uh, big ones. And, uh, also decoys and all that stuff. She does look quite, um, sleek. This is far more the kind of design I'm more used to making. Um, rather than uh, something that's got a lot of decoration on it. So the interceptors alone, I feel, are going to make a big difference. Also, this um, superstructure is uh, completely filled with applique panels, so it's not going to be that easy to destroy. And yeah, we'll have to see um, whether this uh, this big girl can uh, take on the Iowa Inspiration. So yeah, that will be interesting. So let's go here spawn you in on the honest watch hopefully i think this star slime mark ii is um the biggest thing i've ever made or the very damn it uh the biggest thing i've ever made that i've actually gotten this far with so that'll be interesting and i really hope that uh she doesn't crash the game when she fights other big things because that would be annoying Jeez, she's huge she is she hasn't even got like all her stuff yet like, um, this, I'm gonna put uh, a lot of missiles on this thing. And, um, she's got, uh, she's got a big APS, she's got lasers. I don't, I actually don't think she's gonna win this, because the Iowa Inspiration is pretty strong. But you never know, maybe the missile interceptors will make enough of a difference. And if nothing else, this will be a very, very handy, um, means to test what I need to do next. So, let's go here, still riders, make sure you're water. Neither of these uh, big girls have repair bots. So yeah, let's go out here. One, three. So what happened over here? Oh dear. Star Slung Mark II might have just gotten blinded, although, uh, let's see what happens here. Those are big crams, by the way. Very big. <laughs> oh yeah, and, uh, the Star Slung Mark II just, uh, basically shut down the Iowa's laser. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this is a much more even fight already. Oh my goodness, this is a battle. This is a battle. Also, it's uh, shut down the Iowa's lambs by the looks of it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What did that do? Did that actually... Oh, that's very close to knocking out the laser. Okay, yes. Oh boy, oh boy, that looked painful. That, that looked painful. Yep, scratch one. Ooh, what did that do? Yeah, lots of uh, damage, but the armor is holding. Okay, maybe it isn't. Oh no. The Star Slung Mark II. Yep, scratch those laser turrets. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. In case you're wondering, yes, I am rooting for the Star Slug Mark II. I 
think small interceptors might be the way to go. It's also interesting that uh, the Star Song's own interceptors don't appear to be firing anymore. What happened to you? Oh dear! Short one missile controller. Ooh boy, looks like the Iowa's gonna take this one as well. That is bad. Yeah, just spamming small interceptors is a great way of making your craft uh, basically cram-proof, really. I mean, those are m pretty damn big cram cannons, and just uh, the combination lambs and uh, small interceptors uh, on the Iowa Inspiration, they're just ripping straight through them like they're not even there. So I reckon uh, the Star Sun Mark II is uh, handling this a little bit better than the Star Sun Mark I, which is nice, and she is a a long way from finished. So yeah, that's uh, something proud of. We also appear to have what's happened here. We're not steering very well, are you? Yeah, 96%. Okay, this is the fight that's going to take a long time. My goodness. Oh boy, that is a lot of blocks. What happened to you? Bad things. Oh yeah, and there's also range restrictions here. What is all this? And it looks to be mostly alloy. So yeah, superstructure is having a bad day. Uh, yep, and uh, I'm gonna need to work on this apparently, because um, or just to fill this up with applique, because uh, that's getting disabled a little bit too easily. Oh, you cheeky sod! You're running out of range and. Uh, now that's happened. Seem to have done a decent job armoring uh, the APS turret on the uh, Stalsung Mark II, though. That's nice. Gonna have to spread out those interceptors a bit, though, because uh, where they are right now, they just get fried immediately. Or I should replace them with small ones, because they reload quicker. And yeah, the torpedoes are basically doing nothing, because the uh, IO Inspiration has... Uh, it has enough. Um, it has enough torpedo interceptors to be able to deal with them quite nicely. All right, let's follow these. Where are you going? Yeah, large missiles are a real tiebreaker uh, between craft. Like usually, the craft that has them uh, tends to do a lot better. A lot better. Here, also lost some stuff. Crams are not good at uh, this particular range. And uh, we're a little bit too far away uh, for, um, for that laser to do significant amounts of damage. So, although sailing in a straight line is probably not your best bet. What are you doing? You're doing broadside right. Let's see if these uh, if these cram shells get anywhere near. Probably not. Those are... Uh, Oh, hello! You are using your own uh, lasers now. Yeah, just stack small interceptors, guys. That's a, it's a good move. And what are you doing now? You are broadside left. There's that ACB doing its work. ACB doing good work. So that, so what happened over here? Yeah, jeez, I think the Iowa's... Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to fill every blank space in the Star Slug Mark II with just oblique panels. Simply because they just do so well. They're so strong. Well, they're a very cost-efficient way of um, reducing damage. Yeah, I think, yeah, it looks like... Uh... What's happening? 94%. Oh, hello! Something big happened over here. What happened to you? Um, can't actually tell what happened. Probably... Yeah, I actually really can't tell what happened. Oh boy. 
Yeah, 93% over there. There's a lot of blocks that just fell off. Uh, what, where was this? Um, oh, looks like a turret got a direct hit. Which one was that? Can't actually tell. They're all doing pretty darn well. Yeah, I think uh, the turret armoring uh, on the Star Slug Mark II is much better than the first one. Which is nice. Uh, but what happened over here? I think... Oh, yeah, it happened... Oh, boy, a lot of Azipods just got destroyed. A lot of them. Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah, and a lot of... Uh... Oh, yeah, the Star Slug Mark II has a lot of cunning propellers. Oh, shakes. Yeah, that's bad. Has a lot of uh, cunning propellers hidden underneath, so a lot of uh, sneaky design choices. Unfortunately, an unfinished design is an unfinished design, so, um... That is, uh, that is, a uh, crying shame. Alright, let's see what happens here. That's gonna land right there. Oh, boy. What's this? Oh, that's the AI compartment right there. I should really armor these bits a lot better. What's happening over here? Well, this armor scheme is, um, at the very least, holding up decently well against those absolute monster crams that the Iowa is chucking out. And it doesn't do so well against those large missiles. Yeah, definitely uh, the Star Slung is going to need her missiles installed to be able to take on this. Like, uh, down to 2%, though. That's doing better than the first Star Slung. It's doing a lot better than the first Star Slung. Oh, boy. But the, now these, these guns... These guns... Yep, there goes that laser turret again. Let's see... Oh boy, yep, that was a good hit. Where'd that go? And, uh... Fortunately, four layers of metal over here, so even once uh, those, uh... Those cramps get over there, it's, uh... uh they've got, uh, They've got a lot of stuff to chew through. Oh, hello! Hello, this is different. Not getting, uh... Now, those two are close enough that, uh... The Star Slung can start sneaking its shots underwater. It's gonna... Might make a bit of a difference. Although the Star Slung just lost 2% health all at once. Okay, what happened here? That looks like... Yeah, main detection is, uh... The superstructure's taking a real beating. Oh, looks like, though, oh boy, uh, the Iowa Inspiration's lambs has, uh, I think, been disabled. No, not disabled. Not quite. Not quite, but it's taken, uh, it's taken a beating. Yep, that's, uh, issue for you, starting to sneak shots in. Starting to sneak shots in. You better hurry up and, uh... You better hurry up and kill the Star Slung, Iowa, otherwise... Oh, yep, that's gonna happen. Yep, oh yeah, here's some first real damage uh, on the Iowa Inspiration right here. I am into this. I'm not sure if you noticed. Oh yeah, the, um, the Iowa Inspiration is slowly but surely starting to lose, uh, lose her lead a bit. Damn, what the... Wow, I think I outdid myself with the armor on the... Okay, yep. What happened there? That was Doomfrag. That was Doomfrag, and we've got ruptured compartments in the front now. Little by little. Little by little. Although the Star Slung Mark II better hurry up. Looks like I'm gonna have to... Oh my goodness. It's going to... She might actually just uh, disable the large missiles uh, on the Iowa. In which case, uh, this just got a lot more even. I did a, such a better job uh, armoring the turrets on the Star Slug Mark II. They are surviving a lot better than the first one. Of course I say that. Um, okay, yeah, this one is still surviving, hanging in there just barely. Nope, there goes the main APS. I think that's game, people. Yep, I think that's a fair amount of distracting the lambs and a fair amount of uh, scratch damage that's not happening anymore. And this turret, yep, disabled. 
Yep, I think the Stall Slug Mach 2 is gonna lose this one. Yep, 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 yep. I think a Turtle Back Armor Scheme actually would work quite well in here. Yep, okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so the Iowa Inspiration is, uh... She's a scary, scary girl. 77%, 97% health. Well, at the very least, um, the... The Stall Slug... Whoa, what happened here? That looked painful. At the very least, the Stall Slug Mark II did better than the first one. Admittedly, she's also 100,000 uh, materials more expensive, but, um... Let's not nitpick too much. She's doing way better. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Oh, yep, that was an ammo compartment. That got that got destroyed over here. That was the other one. Other one is still fine. This is why you gotta space them out a lot. Well, it's nice that I can make ships that can kick uh, my own ship's ass. That's nice. That's good to know. Holy bananas. Recommend. Oh, yep, that is definitely game. That turret just got decapitated. Which is hard to do, by the way, because this turret technically doesn't have a neck. It's just all turret. All the way. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think this, uh, do what the? And she's still landing hits. My goodness. What a legend. The Bismarck wished that she went down as well as this. Alright, note to self, yes, small interceptors, much better. Small interceptors work a lot better. Oh, 96% health! Well, hell of a fight. Jeez. Yeah, I think that's it. I think she's gonna sink. Is she despawning? She is. Health below it. Nope, she's not despawning yet. And that's what making an alloy deck is good for. What's happened to you? Oh, one of the torpedo turrets just got uh Oh no, there goes the other ammo compartment. Bloody hellfire. Okay, I need to change that because it looks like uh, the uh, the engines are getting destroyed when the ammo compartments are. Alright, good to know, good to know. Good to know. Bloody Nora, but um... Whew. We're gonna need a rematch at some point. Definitely gonna need a rematch. I won't consider the Style Song Mark II done uh, until she can uh, easily defeat uh, the Iowa Inspiration uh, and also the uh, the Great White. And not having a LAM system and having inferior missile interceptors, I think, is why she's lost this one. Because, uh, yeah, no LAM system. I haven't put that in yet. Not sure where I'd stick it. But, uh, yeah. Also might want to convert those uh, those crams to like just uh, a penetrator doom frag as opposed to just regular doom frag, which which uh, is what she has right at the moment, which tends to work fine uh, most of the time, just not against something with four meters of metal armor on it. Ooh boy! Oof! Oof! That looks painful. Looks very painful. Yeah, in case uh, people are wondering uh, what crams are good for, yeah, when it comes to shooting at big things uh, and just punching right into the middle of them and tearing up their insides, that cannon is still firing. Not to great effect, but damn, it's like, you know a design is doing okay when it's at 56% health, but one of the weapons is still got. Look at this! And that's the secret, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's just this turret is big and thick and layered and has heavy armor in strategic places and it's just tanking things so well. Admittedly, uh, the ship it's on has basically lost this one, but, like, you know, don't hold it against it. Like, um, in this particular case, the better ship won. Which means uh, probably uh, the Bevel gets some credit here because, um, those, uh, those little anti-aircraft guns certainly did their bit. And, um... Yep, there she goes. F in chat for the Stahlslung Mark II. Um... 
yeah, looks like the Iowa Inspiration is a damn scary ship. So if I ever finish that custom campaign, you'll have to keep an eye out for her, because she will hurt your feelings with very big guns. Wow, look at the way she's disintegrating. That's interesting. It's like reverse order of being placed. Like all the fill I was doing. That's poetic. That's beautiful. Wow. Damn, Slun. Wow, much battleship. Much duel. Splitting in half. Deacon's hell. Yeah, that is mirroring like how I built her. Because, like, it's similar to how I often build ships. I build, start with one end... And then I like um, I prefab it and use it for the other end, and I build the middle in between them. Damn! I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty epic. Like, not to toot my own horn, since all the designs you've seen in this video are mostly of my own design. But ye gods, that was a. Uh... I get the feeling that's what a lot of people get into from the depths to see is just battleships just smashing each other in the face. So yeah, that was fun. I liked that. So, um, definitely gonna work some more on um, the Star Slung Mark II and the Iowa Inspiration. If you have any ideas, uh, please do share them. Because, uh, yeah, let's make both of these battleships, like, really good. And, like, if you want to see a rematch once I've uh, done some more work on the Star Slung Mark II, uh, let me know. Because um probably gonna try and finish her sometime this week. Uh, so I can... Um, uh, spawn her in in the neater campaign streams which are ongoing. Yes, I do campaign live streams, so keep an eye out for that. So yeah, that was awesome. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon and YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's neat perks. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.